In this video today, I'm gonna walk you through my setup with Notion, a free app that I've discovered a few months ago that has been really helping me stay on top of all my projects and stay productive and that I have been loving. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned. everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Luba and here I talk about entrepreneurship and tech. Over the years, I've seen plenty of use cases for Notion. Startups use it as their internal management system. I've seen it being used externally as a website. People use it as a planner for their whole life. Some companies use it as CRM. And I personally use Notion for my YouTube planning, for my CRM for the company that I'm running, and as my personal task management system and focus board. I have been super into productivity and into to behavioral economics, trying to figure out how to hack my own habits. And honestly, as I said at the beginning of the video, it all kind of comes down to intention, to planning, to strategic planning ahead of time. And that's where I think Notion is incredible. This video is kindly sponsored by Notion. And if you're curious to check it out, you have my sign up link in the description down below. It's completely free of charge. If you're planning to check out Notion or if you are already using Notion and are loving it, smash the like button to the video. I really, really appreciate your support support and it really helps me as a creator. What I love about Notion is that it's super customizable. For me personally, I use Kanban boards, calendar view, linked databases, and templates the most. Over the last couple of years that I've been running my YouTube channel, I've realized that the more you want to churn out content consistently, and you know, I've gone through a lot of ups and downs with that, the more, the easier you want the actual filming to become, the more you need to plan ahead of time. And the planning comes to video ideas, comes to scripts, comes to potential potentially b-roll shots that you want to film. And that's where I actually use Notion the most because in Notion, I have my whole video database. So before Notion, um, whenever I had a video idea, I would just drop it somewhere in Apple Notes and then all my ideas were kind of scattered all over the notes. And as a result, I would just forget about them and never act upon those ideas. So now I have um, this whole video board with a bunch of statuses here in Notion. Uh, here are all my ideas. Uh, we can see that I have a bunch of videos with no status that I want to convert to ideas, which I'll show you guys how to do. Uh, we have the writing in progress column where we know that there is already a script. Um, so I jot down a script and I have a template for it. Um, then I have the ready to film section filmed. Uh, I do have an editor, so I have an editor section, then stuff that's ready to publish and published. I want to give a shout out to all my favorite creators that I was inspired uh, by when setting up Notion. This specific setup, the video board, is pretty much completely inspired by Ali Abdel, uh, one of my favorite YouTube creators who has posted a video about his creative setup with Notion and I pretty much like went ahead and copied almost all of the stuff that he was doing in Notion and over the course of time I've just been tweaking it to the way that my creative process and workflow works. In my use case I constantly create video scripts so I have this video template where I have the published date, the status of the video that actually informs that Kanban board and columns. We have a linked database which is my other favorite part of Notion so the fact that you can link different uh, pages and databases together. Here, you know, I have a couple of ideas for titles. I'll have the ideas for thumbnails. I have my script and that's pretty much it. Then another view that I constantly use is a table view. So if I kind of want to uh, get an overview of all the things going on in the table view, you know, we can go ahead and we can sort everything uh, by the status. So we sorted it and you know, remember how I wanted to change all my video ideas with no status to have a status idea. So we're gonna take all my videos with no status and we're gonna add a status idea to them. And so now if I go to a board view, we can see that my no status view is completely empty and we can actually hide that column. Uh, and now we just have that idea column, the writing in progress. So you know, if I, if let's say this video about to write a script for it, I'm gonna Gonna move it to the write in a script column and then I can click on my video template. So templates are amazing. Here is my video template uh, the way it usually is. So we have the script, we have additional help for the script. Um, so if I don't want any of that, I can just remove that, but it's there if I need it. Let's go into my focus board. So if we look at my Luba's focus board, this is something that I love and this is where I'm, I try to start every single day because here I have habit tracking, I have a recurring task for the day. So for instance, every single week I'm trying to, I'm not doing that well with it, I'm trying to do weekly planning and then I'm trying to update these systems in Notion. Then I have my today board, I have my tomorrow task list next and then I have all my tasks linked as a database here and uh, projects that I'm currently working on. I particularly love it because 
because of these statuses. So here all my tasks are separated by essential deep work, small win, win daily grind, and no effort impact. And what I find most powerful about this separation is that it visually shows you is whatever you're picking up right now the most impactful and essential thing that you can be doing with your day. It's very, very easy to get caught up in busy work. You're, you know, always busy, you're always doing something, but is it really moving the needle? The answer is probably not. This board, this setup is ultimately trying to help you figure out what are the tasks that could actually move the needle. Are you focusing on the right thing? And that's what I particularly love about the system because it gives you these visual clues and visual cues to figure out if you're working on the right stuff. So, you know, for today, I need to film the Notion video, so I have it as my essential thing, but this is something that I'm doing right now, so I can actually change the status of this card to in progress. So that's what I really, really love about Notion, the fact that it's so customizable, the fact that it's so personalized, and the fact that you can really, you know, Notion is your oyster in how you want to set up your productivity systems, your CRMs, your project planning, your knowledge resources. It's really, really cool. Then if we go into my focus board, I also have this thing called breaks and emotional resets. So these are the pages that allow me to see what kind of distracting activities I could pick up if I wanted to take a break. So yeah, basically this page allows me to see what kind of things I can pick up that would still be productive and at the same time be kind of relaxing. So, you know, I can stretch, I can watch some YouTube videos that I pick out, we can read the news, I can read some uh, learning videos, I can meditate. And if we go back, this is another really cool thing that I saw a friend have that I really loved and decided to copy. So this page is called Emotional Reset and ultimately it tells you that, hey, if you feel stressed, you can like stand up, uh, take some deep breaths. If you feel like you're doubting yourself, you can just remind yourself how great you are and maybe like remind yourself of some praises that you've received. If you do feel a certain emotion, you can kind of just map out directly to what is the next step that you can do to alleviate yourself from that emotion and feel better. Let me show you what I do for the CR. So if we go to the page called Loca, all the companies that uh, my company Loca would work with. Um, so ultimately here I have a table database that I can also switch to a Kanban board if I want to, or even a timeline. Yeah, so now that we switched into board view, I can see everything at a completely different glance. So I can see what's recruiting, what's contracting, can see all the cards, and maybe I can even like add a property done uh, or like out of the pipeline, and it would serve as a great CR from you. I want to show you templates in action again. So here I have a bunch of templates for specific tasks. So if a task requires a little more, you know, thinking and doing than it just being like a quick task that I can write out on the Luba focus board. Let's say this is an essential task. I have the type of task, the day when I should do it. This actually has a bunch of formulas that would mark the task with a sign, which would visually tell me that, hey, I need to do this task right now, or I can still wait to do it, or this task task is getting overdue and I need to do it ASAP, but here I can just start you know, typing. Or if we look at the task that I'm still evaluating, uh, again, we'll take the evaluating template that I have. And after filling out all these different properties, I have a couple of categories and questions I can ask myself if I have a specific idea or project that I need to evaluate first. So I really love that about the specific template. And you know, that kind of gives you an idea for how powerful templates are. I don't have to keep any of these frameworks and any of these questions in my mind. I can just put them into Notion they will be standardized and then I just have to click one button like okay evaluate in an idea evaluate in an idea template bam I have all the questions and I have a lot more clarity about how to think about a specific idea or project that comes my way so this is how I use notion this is how I'm uh, trying to stay productive and trying to ensure that I'm working on the most relevant and the most impactful thing so if you're interested in this uh, topic as well please leave a comment down below I honestly would love to make more content like that but of course I'd love for you to also be interested in it thank you so much for watching this video I appreciate you guys thank you for sticking until the end if you enjoyed it give this video a like consider subscribing to this channel if you're new and I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day bye for now